Hey guys, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create this uh, rusty steel text and uh, with some little intro, little bump in the beginning. Okay, now this is a very easy thing to make and still I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna right click and say new item sequence. Gonna create a new sequence and gonna name it power one. Okay, then I'm gonna create a new item title. I'm gonna name it power. Click OK, take my text tool and type in the text power or whatever you want. You can also type in steel. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, gonna change the font to impact so it's a bit more impact, <laughs> of, of course. Okay, I'm gonna center it up with these two buttons here. I'm gonna close my titler and drag my title into the timeline. Okay, um, gonna scale a bit up. Uh, now the first thing we are we want to do is to uh, give it some animation. Okay. Um, I'm going to change the position, the scale and the rotation. So I just click on the stopwatches to create a keyframe. And now I will change the values uh, to the first position. I'm going to scale down, okay. uh, change the, ro the rotation and then position it to the left here. If you don't see this uh, wireframe around it, Click on your motion, okay. If you're not, uh, if you're not clicked, if you not have it selected, you don't see it. So just click on it, then you can freeform it to uh, whatever you want. Okay, so this should be the begin position. Okay, gonna move a couple of keyframes forward, and then I'm gonna uh, create the end position. Uh, the rotation is gonna be zero, um, so somewhere in the middle of the position, and I'm just gonna scale it up something around this, okay? Now I wanted to bump a little bit to make it a bit more smoother. Uh, go, like say, let's say two keyframes forward, uh, bring the rotation to the left, uh, bring the scale down, one, two keyframes forward. You can do this with the arrow keys, okay? One back or, or forward. Uh, then move the scale back up and bring the rotation to the right. One, two keyframes forward, bring the scale back down, move the rotation to the left, one, two uh, frames forward again, move the scale up and bring the rotation to zero. And if we're going to play this now, you will see this effect. Okay, done with animation. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Uh, one last thing, uh, this is coming from a static point, so we wanted to do shade in. So go to up to C. Uh, there's the stopwatch is already on, so just bring the up to C to zero and uh, go one, two keyframes forward and bring it to 100. Or maybe some more, you can just move these keyframes also. Okay, the bigger the space between these keyframes are, the longer it will take to uh, the effect from the start position to the end position. Pretty obvious, of course. I'm gonna play it now. Okay, it looks pretty awesome. Now let's start with the effects. I'm gonna add three times bevel alpha in it. So we're gonna search after bevel alpha, which is under video effects, perf uh, perspective, bevel alpha. Drag it onto uh, my clip and uh, change the settings of my bevel alpha. Uh, I'm gonna close the motion for now and up to see. Uh, for bevel alpha, we want the thickness to give it a little bit of 3D look. Okay, and then move the light intensity all the way up to give it a big contrast. Okay, uh, around 10 to do it. Now this is for the first bevel alpha. Uh, gonna drag another one to it. Gonna do three. Uh, move the light intensity to one again, and then the thickness uh, to around 40. So we got this great texture on it, and then the angle move this one to down. Now I'm gonna move this one up, I'm sorry. So that's minus 180. So the dark side is on the upper. Alright. Then I'm gonna uh, right click the last one we, we made with the uh, big uh, black shade on the top. I'm gonna right click on it, say copy, then paste the effect 
and what we're now going to do is change the angle to zero so we've got the opposite of it okay then we've got this great texture on our power text layer all right um, now we're going to take the three-way color corrector so we're going to search after three way which is under video effects color correction three-way color corrector just drag it onto your clip again open it up and scroll down uh, where you can see these two uh, circles here uh, I'm gonna close this uh, keyframe pane by clicking on these two arrows here uh, you can uh, hide it and show it again uh, so the uh, circles are a bit bigger okay uh, the only thing we're gonna change here is give it a little color the uh, dark tints which are the black ones here we're gonna give red Oops. take this uh, uh, circle this little dot and just bring it all the way to the red side so we've got this uh, rusty feeling here alright uh, then take the uh, other ones and bring it to the blue okay this uh, should do it pretty good okay and as you can see we've already accomplished somewhat somehow our, eff our effect okay the rusty steel feeling but we can um, uh, we can give it some more detail I'm gonna add the pro camp effect I'm going to drag it to my clip, open it up, uh, and I'm going to change uh, the brightness a little bit down, not too much, because you, as you can see already, it's getting pretty dark. Uh, minus 5 is, is good, I think. Then we're going to bring the contrast down, um, somewhere around this, 75, 76. Uh, then the hue is going to stay in zero. Then the saturation, there's too much color, so it's going to bring it to 50, the half of it. And this should be around the effect that we were trying to accomplish. Now, if you need more rust on this, uh, again, go to your bevel alpha, op open up your two uh, bevel alphas with the big uh, edge thickness, and change the angle a little bit. This one, maybe a little bit to the left and the other one maybe a little bit to the right. As you can see your textures are moving uh, so also your um, um, your rust on the, uh, on the on the text uh, if you change the thickness you can also do that okay so just play with these settings so your uh, rust is on the good position on where you want it to be okay this is almost it uh, one last thing I'm gonna create a new sequence I'm going to name it Power 2 and I'm going to drag my first sequence, Power 1, into my Power 2 sequence. So, okay, so we've got a frame in frame. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to take again Bevel Alpha. Who? Many Bevel Alphas today. Alright, uh, open up my Bevel Alpha and um, I'm gonna just going to give it a little Alpha a little bit of alpha. <laughs> um, I don't know, 11, somewhere around this, just to give that 3D look. Maybe some little bit more light. If you want, you can move it to the 1, else just stay on the 0.5. I don't know, just what you want. Okay, now this one looks pretty good. Um, now if your power comes up too dark, you can you could add the luma key this will also um the luma curve i'm sorry under color correction luma curve drag this onto your uh, clip onto your title open up the curve and here bring this will also give some contrast more uh bring the upper curve to the more to the up and the lower curve more to the to the down <laughs> okay as you can see this is more of a contrast Okay, if you don't want it, uh, then don't use it, or you can use it in the opposite way. But, um, well, it, oops, it really depends on uh, how you want it to be. This one looks pretty good with the uh, Luma curve. See, this one is less dark on the dark side now. Uh, anyways, that's up to you. Um, uh, anyways, this is it for the tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned something out of it and by the way check out our website we've got a brand new designer bundle uh, which contains 18 
uh, film music, uh, which is uh, 18 film music uh, clips, which are free to download, free to use, and free to, sh to share without any uh, copyright music law uh, stuff. <laughs> so just check it out, yabberdesign.com, and thank you for watching.